A lot of screams from her one day. And then they were cut the length. The editor cut those in where he felt the scream should be, and then we worked in and out of it. Kong's famous battle to the death with the Tyrannosaurus was shot very early on in the schedule, partly to test how the back projection was looking. They filmed throughout a day and a night, with Fay Ray stuck for all that time up a studio tree. Now that was just a difficult scene. I think they wanted very much to get that material ready to send to New York for viewing by the RKO management to, to stimulate their interest in this film. I would think it was early morning, very early morning when we finished it. And Marion Cooper came in and he told the, uh, the gathering that he'd just worked me for 22 hours and he was so proud, you know, he was like that. He used to, he used to make this gesture whenever he'd see me. <laughs> because that was, you know, Kong's sense of power, he expressed that way. He was the most macho thing in the world. But Cooper would do that too. But uh, he did have um, a, a beautiful imagination. And well, for instance, it, when he had this idea that when this uh, great creature came to civilization, that, it, and if he were in New York, as he turned out to be, that he would go up the, a, a tall building. First of all, when Cooper was walking in New York, he looked at the Chrysler building, and he could visualize that possibility. How many people would see that? I don't think many. But then fortunately, the Empire State Building was built just in time. <laughs> Can I shoot him and not hit Ann? Don't get on the road! Come here! Help me shoot! And Mr. Shows are in the film, are they not? Yes, they were in, I think, most every film they made. It's something. Not where they would be recognized. In Kong, they were in the aeroplane that shot him down. One was the pilot, and one was the observer. In Kong, they created a real tragic hero. Out of all those laborious and sometimes primitive techniques. You can see in the ripples on Kong's fur the finger marks of the operators who were turning his limbs one degree at a time. will continue in a moment on A&E. This is the souvenir edition of the Hollywood Reporter celebrating the success of King Kong. But the finances of the studio had meanwhile toppled into complete disaster. And not even Kong could save it. RKO was put into receivership. David O. Selznick had already left for MGM. And the man RKO turned to was the creator of...